In today's video, four and a half feet tall lamp out of a 13 by four by nine and a half inch box. Can it be done? Let's find out. According to the outside of the box, it's a paper lamp with silver. It's got a pole, pull chain, and a base. And it's all inside this little box. And it doesn't include a light bulb. Oh well. Let's see what we actually have. We have the shade, which is nicely compressed. The base for our bulb. Wire, a pull chain. There's the base. And here's the pole. And I guess if you get enough of these together, this will get you the full height that we need of four and a half feet. What else is in here? And this looks like some kind of framing, probably to give this some um, ability to, to stand and not collapse. Here's our weighted base. It's plastic, so it shouldn't mess up your floor. There's a cap here, so they've poured something into it to add the weight. On the top, as opposed to having metal, it's just another piece of plastic. There's a thread here, and that's where we're going to attach the poles. So we uh, just grab the bottom pole, pull up some of this cord, and just screw that in. And the trick with this is to make sure that it doesn't cross thread. It's aluminum, so it's easy to do. So you just want to just gently get it on there and slowly thread it on. Pull up the additional cord and do the same thing with section number two and section number three. Just a tip. Make sure that you're not winding the cord. You want to leave the cord so it's not twisted on the inside. You only want to turn the pipe itself and not the cord. Like that. We're about to thread the light socket assembly. And again, it's just thread going into here. You want to pull the cord down. And once again, you don't want to turn this and twist the cable. You need to turn the pipe. Now, in hindsight, as opposed to following the directions from the manual, I would have attached this to this piece of pipe, then threaded on each of the pipes. That way, I wouldn't be twisting this cable. Um, or it'd be easier to do it without twisting the cable because right now the challenge is I have to turn this entire thing around to thread it onto here so that I avoid twisting the cable. A little bit of a nuisance, but I'm going to do it this way as opposed to taking the whole thing apart. But since you haven't assembled yours yet, start up here. Thread this to here and then do the two other pipes and then down into the base and you won't be twisting any cable. I'm literally holding the assembly with my hand and just twisting the pole. I have the bottom base off the ground so that the cable's free just to turn around without twisting up. With everything assembled up on here on the assembly, light assembly, we're going to take off this ring then we're going to go to the shade frame. There's an upper portion with the finale at the top. Then there's the bottom portion. And this is going to fit right over our light assembly. And now that ring that we just took off goes right here and locks this into position. Snug it, and that's done. Now is a good time to add our bulb. I'm going to put in an LED. And now we're going to get the top shade frame and attach it right here. There's a close-up of the finale. 
top frame just inserts right over each of the legs. You kind of just push down on it on both sides until you get to the end of travel and that's it. Now we take off this finale because we're going to add our shade next. And the top part is the circular with the hole cut out. That's where our thread at the top of the lamp is going to go through. And the bottom side has this half circle which actually is going to attach underneath here. And this clamp is adjustable so we can go up and down. So the bottom half of the slide will adjust and we'll use this clamp to, to make sure that it stays at whatever height we want it to because we want it fully stretched out. But first thing, go up to the top and put the lampshade on. Our lampshade goes like that and all we have to do is thread it. Of course I need two hands for that so we'll have to put the camera down. But through that opening our finnel is going to go through. Once the finnel catches, we just tighten it snug. And we're ready to stretch down the shade. And how far is enough? Well, You'll probably feel that it comes to the end of travel. That's as far as you can go. So now, remember that half circle we looked at? That's got to go underneath this little clamp. It's a thumb screw clamp, so just loosen the thumb screw. Goes up and down. Goes slightly above that catch. Put it underneath. You see this opening right here? It'll catch on the underside of this. And then just Stretch it a little taut and then tighten down with the thumb screw. When completed, this is the top view. Looking over, we can see our bulb. Shades fully stretched out. Frames are in place. Come to the outside, you see it's nice and taut. And if we look underneath, we see our thumb screw, our clamp, and that's what just holds it in place. And again, if you wanted this to be a little tighter, you could loosen that thumb screw and push it up. I've decided to pull it all the way down, just nice and taut. And we have our switch for turning on the bulb. So uh, let's put it in a room and see what happens. Oh yeah, you'll have to remove this plastic cover before you can plug it in. Urgh. Urgh. Maybe you need to find someone stronger than me to do that. Urgh. There you go. We've placed the lamp in our guest room. And now it's time to turn it on and see what it looks like. Well, that spot looks very hot. In reality, it's not. It actually looks fairly even. It's a little brighter towards the center because actually that's where the bulb is, but it's it's a pretty soft light that it gives off. And so it makes the room feel kind of nice. For under 20 bucks, you could have a really nice lamp that adds a nice atmosphere to a room. It's very easy to build. Requires no tools, and all you need to add is your own bulb. I'd go with LED only because they burn a lot cooler and this is paper. I think for the money and time it took to build which was probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes, this is a very nice buy and I certainly wouldn't hesitate to buy another. If you found this video interesting, educational, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, Subscribe, please subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching.